This video is for engineers servicing an SE Ironheart cooker. Ensure you have a good clear working space. Cover the working area around the cooker. Using a 3 16 Allen key, undo the two Allen screws securing the hot plate. Insert the two SE lifting handles, then remove the hot plate. You will now have access to the flueways around the oven and firebox. Remove the flue box cover and the inner plate. This will give you access to the flue damper. Ensure that the flue damper moves freely. Open the flue access door on the lower right hand side and remove the three nuts securing the flue access plate. Using a flexible flue brush, sweep down the right hand side of the oven. Any subtle debris will fall into the bottom flue chamber for later extraction. Now clean the rear flueway via the cast iron flue box, making sure you sweep all the way down into the bottom flue chamber. Vacuum any soot or debris from the flue box and oven chamber. Another way to access the right hand side flueway is by removing the right hand side oven shelf support. To do this, you must first remove the wire shelves and then undo the two screws securing the shelf support. Ensure the area is clear of any obstruction and vacuum out any debris. Once cleaned, re-secure the oven shelf support bracket and replace the wire shelves. Using a scraper, bring all the soot and debris to the front of the cooker for removal. Clean off the flue access plate and re-secure. Ensure that the flue restrictor plate moves freely and check for signs of damage. Check the hot plate for damage and clean off any debris. When replacing the hot plate, you may need to realign the securing brackets. Replace the hot plate and using a thin Allen key or screwdriver, realign the bracket with a hole in the hot plate. Finally, secure with the two Allen screws. Replace the flue inner plate and the flue access door. Ensure that the upper air slider moves freely. During a service, some of the internal parts of the firebox may need replacing. First, you need to remove the wood burning box or grate. Support the baffle plate with one hand and remove the rear baffle support brick. Angle the baffle plate and then remove. Remove the three left hand side fire bricks and the lower back brick. Finally, remove the three right hand side fire bricks. Open the ash pan door and check the operation of the lower air slider. Before reinstalling the fire bricks, clean out the firebox chamber of any debris. Clean off the baffle plate and the wood burning box before reinstalling. Reinstall the fire bricks in the correct order, finishing with the baffle plate and the rear baffle support brick. Reinstall the grate or wood burning box and ash pan. It is very important to check that the fire door is sealing correctly against the main body of the cooker. Using a piece of paper, trap it behind the door. If the paper moves freely, the door will need adjusting. If there is no more adjustment on the door, the door rope may need replacing. To adjust the door, you must first slacken the Allen screw on the edge of the door level with the handle. This will allow you to move the locking mechanism in or out to slacken or tighten the door. The hinge side of the door can also be adjusted. When you have adjusted the door, test again with the paper to ensure a good seal. You can adjust the oven door by following the same procedure. Over time and usage, the cooker may need a little cosmetic attention. Wipe off the cooker with a soft lint-free cloth or for more stubborn stains, you may need to remove with a wire brush. If you want to restore the Ironheart to its former glory, a special stove paint is available from Essie. It is important to service your SE cooker at least every 12 months.